You see, if you cannot think, I cannot help you. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? In 1971, the U.S. dollar became debt. The U.S. dollar is the reserve currency of the world. I don't know if you know what that means. I'm trying to explain to you, when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. And the only way money gets out of debt is via taxes. So all the people who work for money, red, rich debt, poor debt, what's lesson number one? Rich people don't work for money. Correct. Money is debt. I use debt as money. And everybody thinks getting in debt is bad. Well, who told you that? I think the stock market is for losers. Why would you put money in the stock market when it's manipulated? That's what I think about. So I'm always watching the manipulation going on behind the scenes. That's what my brain is focusing on all the time. And I don't pay taxes. The question is, how is it I don't pay taxes? And I can tell you. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. Why is debt tax-free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people who borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt, I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars in 2000. By 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down, so that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then uh, they pay taxes after taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is, if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. And the average person has been hypnotized. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in a pension. And you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor. So that's why I argue with you, until a person questions what's already been put in their head. And that's what my poor dad put in my head. Go to school, get a job, work hard. And that's America, the same as Romania, it's not any different. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? That's what happened in 1971 when President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. They can print as much as they like. Then they tell you, so that you go to school, you get a job, you become an employee. You pay taxes because you're working for money. Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? I don't know. Because the system of banking your, it's nothing to do with communism or capitalism. It's the banks run the world. The rich run the world. They don't care if you're communist or capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar US or one euro, one yen, the banking system can lend out 10. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. And then they used to pay you 10% interest on your money. Now it's at best 1%. And they're still lending it out 10 times. So that's why you don't save money is because your money is becoming worth less and less and less and less and less. And less.
the banks are getting richer and richer and richer. Then they tax you on that interest you they pay you, that 1% interest if they pay you that much. Japan is zero. And the Japanese are so stupid, they still save money.